Hi, I'm here with Washington Mystics head coach Mike Tebow. How are you doing today? I'm great. Anxious to get going again. That's awesome. So am I. Can you tell me a little bit about this year's team? Uh, it's a lot of the same, actually. You know, we had a very young team the last couple of years. They've gotten better. Uh, the big emphasis is to get them all to be a little bit better than they were a year ago. Okay. Obviously, with the draft, we added some players. Um, Kalia Copper from Rutgers is the number one pick. Uh, she has a chance to be a very special player. Uh, there's really only one or two roster spots kind of open on our team, so it's going to be a pretty heated competition for those spots. And we're just letting them kind of figure it out and see who wins it, wins the job. Are you pleased with the off-season conditioning of the team going into this season? Yeah, I am. I mean, it's hard to tell. You know, we have a bunch of veterans still playing overseas right now, but I'm going to assume since they're playing playoff-style basketball that they're all in pretty good shape. One of the best things about the WNBA as far as a coaching thing is is that you don't have to worry as much about conditioning as you do maybe in the NBA where guys have had three or four months off. Most of our players are either coming right from college or right from playoff games in Europe, so we're getting them in pretty good shape to start out with. So we don't have to spend time worrying about the conditioning factor of it. Going into the season without uh, Ivory Ladder, um, how's that going to affect the team? Well, you know, everybody's made a big deal of it, uh, but she may not only she may only miss a couple games. Uh, the four to six weeks started, you know, almost two weeks ago now. So, um, you know, we're in a situation where she'll be at four weeks on opening day. So she she could possibly only miss maybe the first ten days of the regular season. You know, we'll cross our fingers on that. So, you know, people have been talking about her coming back in June, and that's not what we're thinking. We're thinking that she might be back, you know, last week of May. So uh, if that's true, then, you know, we're only going to have to go without her for a short time. Luckily, we have, a, you know, a great young point guard in Natasha Cloud. We have Bria Hartley. We have Tierra Ruffin-Pratt who can handle the ball. So, you know, by committee, we should get it done. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, would you be more of a de defensive-minded team going into it? this season or uh, just stay with a speedy quick team well we've been the defensive minded team I mean the stats bear out we've been the either the first or second best defensive team for the last couple of years um, I need to see us get a little more speedy on offense I think our pace slowed down partly because teams try to slow us down and partly because you know our, our three-point shooting early in the year last year was not good we became a good three-point shooting team the second half of the season but not early so I think the biggest thing for us is to be more consistent from day one um, but we I think our team sees themselves as having a defensive identity first okay. so practices have been going well well, we've only had a couple, and they've been mostly the young players. We don't have, you know, we're missing six veterans right now. So um, that's been the biggest difficulty is that, you know, we don't have kind of a consistency of what we're doing. But the good part of it is we've been able to spend time with our young players, teaching them what this is about here, and they're getting in good individual attention so that when the veterans do show up next week, they'll kind of be integrated into it already. Thank you so much for your time. I'm, I'm excited for the season. I know you are. I know you're ready to get going, and you have a great season. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.